All right, welcome back to the BST podcast. We have Chris Crowder on the line. Chris, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing really good. So uh, just to tell everybody, you're kind of the power eye liaison for Colorado, if you will, uh, especially with the 1200 since you guys are sanctioned by power eye. So how's that going this year? Going really good, really good. Um, we've got a few races in the books. Uh, a lot of guys are happy to be back on the track. And, uh, yeah, um, right now uh, we got Dakota Dillon leading our uh, Rocky Mountain Lightning Sprint uh, Power Eye Division. You know, it seems like he's kind of on fire. seems like he's been doing good along with a few of other drivers. And, and by the way, you guys are probably average, what, 20 strong on, on an average? On an average, we do. This season, we're down a little bit with everything going on, but uh, I think this year we've been right around 15 or 16. Um, we've had a strong night with, I think, 18, so not bad for everything that's going on. That's good. Now, as our tracks and our tours that we run, we're pretty much mid-season. Are you guys basically the same? You're pretty much mid-season right now on the downhill side? We are. We are. We have a race coming up uh, this coming weekend down in Pueblo, and then uh, that gives us nine races left for the season including your final one in october there you go all right well that's good um how about yourself how you been doing i know you 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 went out to california racing before everybody i remember that so you were you were getting a head start on things have you been traveling at all are you pretty much here at home now yeah, I've been pretty much home the last couple of months. But, yeah, we started out at uh, March. We went out to um, California. We raced out there a couple of nights, went to Arizona in May, and um, had a really good time. Um, really, really happy with what we've been doing. And we got a new car out. Um, it's the Diablo is what we're calling it. And uh, I've had some success with that car so far. I haven't won any races, but it's always been up front. So Nice. Hopefully- yeah, yeah. you seem to be a, an average uh, third-place guy. Does that seem safe to say? It seems like it seems to be like your number, give or take a few or something. But you're, you're, al- you're always a podium guy at least, right? Yeah, we're, we've been in the top three, but we, we got to get those other couple spots here. Hopefully. Exactly. I, I always tell people, they ask me how i done and if I finish second, which I've got a lot of seconds, mind you, uh, unfortunately. Not as many uh, firsts as I do seconds and then a few thirds, but I tell them it's kind of like kissing your sister. And then I got third the other time. I said, well, that's like kissing your stepsister. So, <laughs> so I'm with you. I, I, I like I like that first place best absolutely so um the you guys like mentioned the mid-season but now coming up i know you have a double header we're gonna make up for our fair race that we did not run at el paso so we're gonna have a double header coming up next weekend at el paso which i believe is the seventh and eighth correct on a friday and saturday now will that bring any extra drivers because i know last time we've done a double header heck you had some california people coming and other people and i know there's other racetracks unfortunately not able to run so you think uh, that double header will pick up some drivers yeah it's funny you mentioned that i talked to quite a few of those guys back in california and it sounds like there's a handful of them five or six of them that actually show some interest that uh, i think may make that trip out here nice nice that's what that's all about and hopefully that'll work so give you guys a reminder you just mentioned you'll be this weekend to honor then you're going to be at our double header on the 7th and 8th of august correct that is correct all right and then uh, you said nine races so you'll have about what six more after that one then Correct. And then your championship will conclude uh, at the October 10th race at El Paso. That will be your championship night. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That'll be it for us. All right. Well, I want to thank you for being on. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Anything? Any new news? We all good, but. Yeah, I wish I had more to report. Like I said, it's just kind of day by day. I know your situation's day by day, so we kind of go off of your lead. But, uh, yeah, I, I just thank everybody that uh, kind of follows the Power Eye Lightning Sprint, especially here in Colorado, and uh, appreciate the support everybody gives us. Nice. Well, uh, in this podcast, we've got some great news. I got a hold of the – finally got through to the health department at El Paso, so things are looking really good there for the second uh, half of the season. So we'll be posting on about that for this podcast later on. That's awesome. We can't wait to hear it. All right, Chris Crowder, thanks again, and uh, best of luck this weekend, and we'll see you soon. Yes, sir, right back to you guys as well. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye.